So good morning everyone. Again, I'm back with some tricks. So now in this video, we will going to see how to derivate this types of pattern in just fraction second. So let's begin with the trick. First, focus on the pattern. This trick it is only applicable when where A, B, C, and D. It is a constant over there, and this f of x it has to be same then only the tricks is applicable focus on the example can i say 4 4 2 6 it act as a b c d where 4 4 2 6 is a constant and here f of x it is same again see here f of x it is same and 4 7 2 3 it is constant over there so let's begin with the tricks simply what you have to do Whenever the part of the question is like this, write down the denominator same as it is taking square. So what is the denominator here? It is 2 sin x plus 6. The whole square. What the idea? Then in the numerator, you have to find the determinant of that coefficient. So what is the coefficient over there? It is 4, 4, 2, 6. So find the determinant. So can I say determinant of 4, 2, 4, 6. Cross it. You will get the answer. 6, 4, is 24. Minus 2, 4, is 8. 24 minus 8. It is 16. I also, you might be knowing how to find determinant for 2 into 2. Okay. The next. Multiply. The next step is what? You will find the derivative of that function. So what is there in place of f of x? So in place of f of x, here it is what? Sin x. So you all might be knowing. What is the derivative of sin x? Yes, it is cos x. That's it. You got the answer in just fraction second. Let's focus on the second example. Let's see what will be the answer for the second one. Again, see, apply the same fundamental square of the denominator. So what is there in the denominator? It is 2x square plus 3 the whole square. The next, in the numerator you will find the determinant of that coefficient. So what is the coefficient here? It is 4, 7, 2, 3. Cross it. 3, 4, z is 12. 2, 7, z is 14. So 12 minus 14. It is minus 2. Multiply. Now simply you will find the derivative of that function. So what is there in place of f of x? It is x square. So what is the derivative of x square? Can I say derivative of x square is 2x. Yes, when you will apply x raised to n formula, you will get 2x. And the final answer we can write as minus 4x upon 2x square plus 3 the whole square. That's it. Yes, there is second method also and you all might be knowing what is that second method. We can apply u by v, u by v, derivative of u by v, v into derivative of u minus u into derivative of v upon v square. But that is a traditional way. You can find the answer by using traditional way also but you get the answer not faster but by using this method I bet you you can find your answer in just fraction of a second. I hope so you understood this method and even like the video also. If you like the video, please like, share, comment and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Till then goodbye. See you in the next video.